Hi, I am Martin, and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can correctly use inverted high pass and even out the skin tones to go from this to this with few simple steps. First of all, I'm going to remove this group and let me tell you a few words about inverted high pass. There's a huge problem about inverted high pass because many people who use this, they use this too much which going to destroy the image. It's a very destructive technique. If you don't know how to use this in the right way, many people use too low values of the radius in high pass, which makes it destroy the skin pores. So in this episode, I want to show you how to use this in the really correct way. First of all, to do this, we cannot be sure how values we want to add because it always depends on the size of the image. So to be sure which values we really want, I recommend you to duplicate your background layer twice. This first one I'm going to call blur. And this one I'm going to call high pass. So on this blur layer, I'm going to filter blur and Gaussian blur. And that's very important moment because we have to find the point where we actually blur out all of the details from the image, even a bit more than in frequency separation, but we still can see the contours. So I believe maybe 12 would be all right, but let's go with 15 to be really careful and not destroy the te texture. As you can see, I can see the shapes, but I absolutely cannot see any detail on the skin anymore. So hit OK, then go to the high pass layer and go to image, apply image. And that's a great thing about using this method about splitting frequencies, because instead of setting up the high pass on my own, the Photoshop going to find the right values for me. So as a layer, as a source will be blur over here, blending will be add because it's 16 bit image, scale to offset zero and this invert box checked. If you use eight bit image, of course, the value here will be subtract, scale to offset 128 and this box won't be selected. So hit OK. And right now, as it's sorted, I don't need this blue layer anymore. I only need this high pass layer. So I'm going to filter blur, Gaussian blur. And always when we use inverted high pass, we use only the third part of the value of our radius from before. So in this case, it will be only five. Hit OK. Now I'm going to change blending mode from normal to linear light. And as you can see, it's quite crunchy, but that's the point we have to invert this high pass layer. So control or command I to invert this and you can see our result right now. It's very soft by the fact that we actually use this split frequencies instead of choosing high pass on our own, so we can be sure we no, it's not going to be that destructive. Of course, we don't want the image looks like this, so I'm going to create a layer mask here and invert this layer mask. What I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom this a bit more and using brush, white color and quite soft flow, I'm going to paint on this inverted layer mask. Especially here, as you can see, I have some of them different colors and I want to even out this. So painting on these spots with other colors can really fix the skin. By the fact that our values are really soft, I'm not destroying this. As you can see, this is a very soft change and still keeps our image looks a lot very natural. And that's the point. You don't want to do all of your job using this inverted high pass or of course, if you do the images for yourself, for your family, but you are not professional retoucher, you can use lower values for your high pass. But if you think about a bit more professional retouch, do this soft as I do. So 
a bit more over here. I'm sorry for that. A bit more over here I have few spots so that's how I work with this and by the fact I just really great a value I could use higher flow but it's okay a bit more over here here I have some a lot of pores so I'm just going to even out them a little bit very gently a bit here but as you can see down here, we have a bit different texture, so I don't want to paint that much over here. It's very important because it all depends on the texture. If you don't have the, too much texture on the skin, I wouldn't recommend you using this technique. Also, the great use for inverted high pass, we, when we have these wrong shadows over here, we can always sort this out using this technique. So let's go on the arm. As you can see, we have a bit less texture. So it's your choice. But the thing I have very soft radius, uh, my effect is very soft. I can paint with this. However, if your effect will be too strong, I recommend you to change the values and to add higher blur over here when we will be creating our inverted high pass. So as you can see, it works really great over here and that's our little chicken we can cheat and pretend we're doing really great retouch using this simple technique however be careful over here because she has some really nice spots and i don't think this um spots this uh, black freckles or whatever it is um is wrong i think they look really great so i don't want to even out them i want to keep them so i'm just going to paint around so that's very important. You don't want to destroy all of the skin texture. And that's how it looks like before and after. You have to say when you use inverted high pass in the right way, you won't destroy the skin texture. And that's the first rule. Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of pictures and a lot of people, retouchers, who destroy the skin texture using this method. But if you use my technique, if you use this in the right way, you won't do such a mistakes. Of course, I want to say thank you for Mylène Lacroix, I believe I pronounced her name in the right way, for letting me use her image, and also to Danny Maid, a photographer who took this picture, so credits for them, of course, you can find them in the description, the links are in the description, and also, if you'd like to know more advanced retouching techniques, I recommend you my advanced high-end beauty retouching in Photoshop on Udemy. Also, the link you can find in the description with the huge 80% discount. So thank you for watching this tutorial and I'm going to see you very soon in the next video.